and hello everyone welcome back to another video from Everything Sim and today we're back into the world of Train Sim World 4 we're doing the Gatwick Express service to Charlie 23 it's a uh, beautiful March morning and uh, we're gonna be yeah we're gonna be getting started in this class 387 yes yeah, class 387 um, it's absolutely gorgeous the DLC I think it cost me around 25 pounds so it's not um, cheap but I think for what you get it's pretty damn good so we'll go ahead and get started now. So it does look like your average class 375. So we'll go ahead and get it started up. Do the usual things you would. We'll open up the doors. We're, uh, we're an 8 car config today. So it's a uh, pretty standard sort of length of a train. We're starting out in Brighton Station. Didn't mean to hear that. Now I will put this out there, I haven't played this route in a good few weeks at Brighton to London Victoria, so I may be a little rusty in where the speed restrictions are. Normally I'm quite good with that sort of thing, I'm able to get down to speed in time. But uh, we will be calling at Hassocks Platform 1, Haywards Heath Platform 3, Gatwick Platform 1 and London Victoria Platform 13, which is where we terminate. So not many stops on this, uh, it's a semi-fast service, just setting up the air. Uh, Destination display there, all good. We're just waiting until 8.24 now, which is just rolled around, so we'll close up the doors. Ah, and we need to get the AWS sorted out as well, which is something I uh, forgot on my last journey from Brian to Victoria on this. I wasn't actually uh, recording, so that's all good. It's a nice little announcement there, got the AWS operational. So we should get alerts on yellows and reds. So we'll go ahead and get moving out of here. Speed limit for Brighton is 25 until we leave where all the uh, switches are. So yeah, the sounds on this are pretty good. Uh, they've got all the sort of announcements on the platform. I like the shaking noises as well from the train. That you'll hear that later on. So we'll get going here. 25. And we'll be heading up to Hassocks Platform 1, as you can see in the top left. So this video will be cut. It's not going to be a uh, complete uncut video. However, uh, I'll leave in all the sort of main bits, such as Spay, the arduous journeys, that's all. Because we, it's, I think from London Gatwick to London Victoria, I think it's a good 24 miles of just sort of cruising at 80. So I think shorten down the video. I'll edit all that out. There we go, so it's up to is that 35? So we'll move up. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can hear that, but the uh, shuddering from... I'm not sure what that's from, but it's uh, some sort of shuddering in the cab here, and it's, it's pretty nice. So yeah, so what the outside looks like. I'm in, in love with the livery, actually. I quite like the uh, red and sort of the baby blue on the doors. It's quite a nice little scheme. Just bringing up the timetable here, seeing what times I've got to be at which places for. So we're on time at the moment. Okie dokie, we're now cruising along at 85, we're going to bring it down a little bit because we are now a mile out from Hassocks. little rule of thumb I like to sort of keep is uh, not to be sort of any faster than 35 miles an hour as I enter like a standard length platform that sort of accommodates a eight car train. So we're doing 33 along here, so we're doing just fine. There we are. 
driver's reminder appliance on, set it to neutral and release the doors. The only thing sort of annoying with this is there is no sort of guard on the train so you can't have a guard when you're driving and you can't guard when someone else is driving which is annoying because it would be a nice little feature they could add. Um, but I suppose it is what it is, isn't it? So yeah, it's quite a nice little in interior here. Gonna get ready to go in a second. So we can make sure we're on time. There is apparently a slower train up ahead um, from well, it's near London, Victoria, South Eastern train. I've heard there's a slower train up ahead, so we'll see how we get on when we get closer to London, Victoria. We just have to see how we do. I think the maximum speed of this train is 110 miles an hour. That's pretty speedy. So we should get some uh, decent progress after Gatwick. After Gatwick Airport. On the way up to London Victoria. So yeah, we'll get going. But this doesn't want to work, probably. So yeah, let's get going. Nicely, a little 
Angle southeast and there to the left and the southern to the right. You might notice um, a difference in this train from the 375 and the 377 is a uh, slightly different AWS tone. Slightly, I think it's a lower pitch slightly. But yeah. So we've arrived at Hayward Heath, we'll unlock the doors. Which is kind of neutral. Something I wish uh, Dovetail would add actually is the 375, which I know it has in real life, is something called SDO or Selective Door Operation. Um, and essentially, the screen on my left, you select which doors you'd like to open up, so it mainly use it on them. Um, on shorter platforms where not all your train fits on. So yeah, we've just skipped uh, to departure time. Another thing, another thing that would be pretty cool if they added uh, would be, so in real life the way these trains work is you unlock the doors and if people want to use the doors they'll press the button either on the inside or the outside and it'll open up the door whereas in train sim games, the door just seems to open. You press unlock the doors and they all just open simultaneously, which is a bit unrealistic, frankly. Um, so I wish they'd sort of had that. So it's just gone yellow, so we'll get going. Now. It's actually gone to a double yellow now. For those of you that know, um, the way the signals work is green's obviously good to go. A double yellow means that there'll be a, a single yellow up ahead. A single yellow means there'll be a red up ahead. Obviously, red is do not pass. It's a danger sign. I put, a, put out a Instagram story on whether I want to, uh, you guys want to see some Watch Dogs content and uh, got a DM from someone and they were, oh there's another plane, and they were obviously uh, sort of software that I used for ASC, obviously I used it to get cheap software, it's absolutely fantastic, um, especially the free version as well, for, like for, you know, you pay nothing but you get absolutely, it's, it's, got, it's essentially gold because there's so many tools you can use, you know, a fair light, and it's just great for editing. Um, you just got to have a good CPU, that's all. I must say, in real life, the um, the four car variants of these trains they feel a lot longer than they do in the game. A four car in the game feels a lot shorter, a lot more stubby than they do in real life. So yeah, we're coming up to the end of the platform now, so we probably should start putting a bit of the uh, braking on. Doing it right there. So yeah, the platform's on the right hand side this time. I'll make sure we open up the right doors, because it'd be a bit of a catastrophe if we did it. Didn't mean to press the master key. Just going to 
take out the uh, master key for a second because we're gonna go, we're gonna go and uh, grab a little snack. It's got a good three or so minutes to we use the car. So we'll just, uh, have a little look around the platform because sometimes you've got these uh, like sort of billboards that you can put up there. You go like that, build posters and stuff like that. You can just add them. Get some new points. I must say the uh, announcement page looks pretty nice. It's pretty realistic. Not that I've ever been to Gatwick Airport train station, but um, they're sort of around the same around the country, aren't they? So. does feel oh, pretty empty considering it's supposed to be a rush hour service it's at 9 o'clock in the morning it's when most flights sort of arrive slash depart isn't it? so yeah once we leave Bright, uh, sorry Gatwick this train station there'll be one stop before I say one stop before the only the last stop will be London Victoria so yeah, I'm going to get ready to go. We've got double yellow, so we're all good to go. Just proceed with some caution, that's all. So we'll put the mouse to key back in, all that good stuff. is now where the line starts to slow down, where it becomes more congested. So we've still already got, I think it's that, what is that, three, four tracks on this line already. Um, and then that'll widen to about five. And then I think we're catching up to that train uh, that was reported to be slow moving. The all stopper. I think we are catching up to it. So I've skipped where this uh, red's turned to yellow because we ended up waiting at this for a good few minutes when we got to it. So yeah, we're two and a half miles now from Victoria. That's where there's a southern and a southeastern train joined up there. How about that? So we're passing through this. Is, is, is this Croydon? Is it? I'm not quite sure what station this is. I don't know London too well. I'll be quite frank with you. I've got a yellow and a red. So we won't go much faster than 50 along here. Yeah, because we've got to be quite careful of those reds. Yeah, 
it's just gone to yellow. Is there another? I think there's another train on the. Yeah, there he is. He's just going to Victoria now. Okay. Oh, we'll get going again. I can imagine it'll be a lot of uh, slowing down and speeding up again from here on out until we get to Victoria. Hopefully, not too much there. <laughs> sake really. Yep, another red up ahead. It can get quite hectic along this part of the line. So it slows down to 45 here so we can so we switch to the right here I believe. Yeah. Fairly decent model of a uh, London, I know it's not completely realistic. But uh, hey. Not far from London Victoria now. Not far. The most amount of time it's gonna take us is uh waiting at reds I can imagine. Let some uh, fresh air in. <laughs> I say let some fresh air in. The real reason, the real reason I'm uh, opening up the window so I can hear the uh, the outside world a bit better. The inside of the cab's pretty quiet actually. So yeah, we're just crossing the River Thames now. AWS. Yeah, we're just crossing the River Thames. Oh, we 0.6 of a mile out, 0.7 of a mile out. Got a red up here, so we'll start slowing down for that. Down to 40 here. There we are just approaching this red now. I can imagine it'll be red for quite a while. Because the lines are pretty chocked up here. And after this red it is 20 miles an hour. Alright, so it took a while I think, but um, I've cut to I'll have cut by now to uh, where it's gone yellow. So it's 20 miles an hour now, and we just pull into the station pretty much. We're all done. One journey complete. Took the best part of, I think, an hour and a half to get here. <laughs> It'll be reduced down to about 25 minutes or so on YouTube. You'll have to let me know down in the comments if you uh, prefer full train journeys that are uncut or if you like these um, cut down, sort of shorter videos of Train Sim. So, yeah, just let me know in the comments what ones you prefer. And then that should help me put out better content for you guys. So I know what I'm doing. So I know what to put out for you. <laughs> yeah. Okie doke. We'll close up that window again. And uh, careful not to hit the buffers this time because uh, last time I did this I wasn't filming. I uh, totally forgot the buffers are there and I rammed into them at about 10 mile an hour. Derailed, ended the entire thing, lost all my points. So yeah, don't be an idiot like me essentially. I think we're going into this view. Just be careful. Start breaking a bit more. Trying to stop it where the blue dot is. And there we are. Open up the door.
doors. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to uh, leave a like on the video. Put a lot of effort into editing and filming it, so it really helps out the channel. Make sure to subscribe and to turn on that notification bell so you get more notifications on vi new videos I put out for you. Anyway, you guys take care, and I'll see you in another video.